welcome back to my channel it's a girl kima arenel right here on youtube and besides these videos i am a blogger so be sure to check out my instagram page at kim true lens and i will leave that in the screen for you guys and i'll also leave that information for you guys to check out in the description box so guys as you have seen in my intro and you have read in the title yes this is another video where i'll be sharing with you guys some of my new personal hacks and tips on how to take care of ingrown hairs if you do have them first of all i want to say that the previous videos that i have created on my channel I still live by those products and of course my personal care routine. Nothing has changed. The only thing that I have added is that I have um, just learned how to deal with ingrown hairs. For me personally, I don't suffer severely from razor bumps or ingrown hairs. For me, I know for a fact that ingrown hairs does not only occur after shaving, although it's known to be one of the prone causes, even if you... Um, even if the skin is healed after getting razor bumps, ingrown hair can still occur. But like I said, it's just one cause. Another cause that I personally have recognized is wearing tight pitted clothes. So what I mean by tight pitted clothes, I mean like tight underwears, leggings, stockings, and even jeans. Yes all of those four items that i've mentioned because as a female our body is constantly changing we're growing we you know we're forming different shapes and you know because of your body growth you're wearing the same size underwears and undergarments it's gonna cause abrasion to the skin it's gonna cause friction without you unconsciously knowing another reason i can tell you guys why ingrowns probably occur if you also have hair on your bikini area or you even have hair on your ties even if it's minimal hair or if it's a lot there was an incident like for example i'm gonna give you guys an example i'm gonna be raw with you guys for example um i go to the gym i work out i've been wearing this pair of leggings for quite a while and without unconsciously knowing that you know when you work out you build muscles so of course your body weight your body muscles is going to expand you know and i've noticed that okay why am i getting this ingrown here on my ties it's not comfortable it's the most like yucky and disgusting thing because like you want to poke you want to you want to get rid of it you know it doesn't feel good and it, it, it just get gets you out of your momentum so wearing anything too tight if you notice that your undergarments are getting too tight i would definitely recommend the first tip is to change or go up in the size not a cause for ingrown hairs guys is exfoliating like believe it or not although there is positive um talks about exfoliating which is true there are also some negative um some negative side effects of exfoliating like i would notice because i'm the king not the queen the king of exfoliating like i would regularly quite often exfoliate whenever i take a shower so when i normally exfoliate i use this bristle brush but after realizing that you know Every body surface, every parts on your body is not the same. I cannot be doing the same thing. And by exfoliating the skin, going in an up and down motion or even in a circular motion, it can cause abrasion to the skin. So what I have done, what I have added instead of using a bristle brush is a sponge. And this sponge is very gentle on the skin, especially when it's wet. So even if you're going in an up and down motion or in a circular motion, it's not too rough on the skin depending on your um, pain tolerance, depending on the motion that you're going to. I would definitely recommend this. I have another tip for you guys, which is using a dermal roller. Believe it or not, a dermal roller, you might say it's for your face, how can it be effective there probably you might be wondering by using um, the needles it might raise up 
um, the pimple even more it might cause it to be more aggressive and that is something that you should not mistake. actually what the derma rule does it is it flattens the skin so I would say instead of doing like this you have to go in an up and down motion sometimes I would take the risk in going like this but it's you know on the sides you're gonna cause the skin to damage you you're gonna rip it and that's not what you want to do you want to go like this a couple of times I do it about four times going up going down going up and down and that's it and of course it removes that dead layer of skin that the ingrown here has so it's actually sharpening removing and flatten it out your next question probably is can you um, do a roll on the ingrown here dry or wet I would say for me what I do personally is I do my roll it on a dry skin that is my own preference one of the products that I want to share with you guys is bio oil you might be wondering bio oil why bio oil bio oil should only be used for your face area well no bio oil has several benefits for the skin you guys might see that I have it's almost empty because I use it frequently for my face as well as um, my vagina it, whenever I have an ingrown here it helps tremendously and what it does is that it, it changes the appearance even after treating it exfoliating it with you know um, the tools that I share with you guys so it changes the appearance after it's healed after it heals like you no longer feel the lump or you know you just don't feel like the little um, pimple that first occurred however I have to say guys using tea tree oil which is the holy grail product that you can also use on your own aside apart from using bio oil is gonna help this Tea tree oil helps, has many um, skin benefits. What I've recognized is that tea tree oil doesn't, it's not really helpful for my skin, but for ingrown hairs, I wouldn't say necessarily razor bumps because with razor bumps, the skin is still like scarred and um, sword. However, for ingrown hair, it's different. So what this is gonna do, it's, it's gonna release the tightness. You know, like ingrown hair is, very uncomfortable you know and we know that tea tree oil leaves like a kind of um, hot sensation tingling sensation so what this does is that it cools down while it gives you that tingling sensation so what I do with this is that I use it twice a day whenever I experience an ingrown hair which is not very common not very often but if I do unconsciously knowing I use this twice a day before and after shower when I go to bed Another product that I can swear by is the PBF Chroma Bright, which I have talked so much about. And there is so many benefits using this single product. So what this is gonna do, by using the tea tree oil, the bio oil, and the PBF Bright, this is also gonna flatten if you don't have the bio oil, you can use this since it's very cheaper and cost effective. You can use this instead of the bio oil. So it's gonna do the same thing that the bio oil is doing. However, I would say that this is a bit much more stronger and you can see faster results with this. This was the video. I hope it was very helpful and informative for you guys. If you do have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section. I am welcome to open and answer any of you guys' questions. And if something was not clear for you guys, be sure again, leave your questions, leave your comments in the comment section. I will be more than happy to help you guys. If this video has helped you, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share with a friend and help a friend out. So I'll see you guys in the next video and bye for now.